Getting into studio photography can be kind of daunting, especially if you've never done it before. It's a little complicated and it can definitely be a little bit expensive. So today we're gonna to solve both of those problems by shooting five different lighting setups with one light. If you've ever said to someone, oh, I'm just a natural light photographer, this video is for you. There are so many people out there that say, oh, I only shoot with natural light, and it's for no other reason other than studio lighting is a little complicated and a little bit scary to get into. I totally get it, I've been there, but we need to change that because knowing how to use studio lighting properly can absolutely elevate your photos to the next level. So here's the equipment you need. It's pretty simple. You got your camera and your lens, you need one light. I'm using a Godox MS300 strobe, some kind of lighting modifier to go on the light. I'm using this Aperture Light Dome. This will change the quality of the light and make it look a lot softer on the face. Next, we need a light stand to throw that light on, and that's about it. This is about as simple as you can get for a studio lighting setup. So how can you create five different lighting setups with this one light? Without further ado, here are the lighting setups. Lighting setup number one, the butterfly lighting, and actually what I'm using to light this video. You're gonna place your light directly in front of your subject and quite a bit higher up so that it's tilting down towards them at a 45 degree angle. You're looking for a little shadow right under the nose right here. This lighting setup does work better if you can have an arm on your light stand that extends the light over top so you don't have to have the light right in front. But if you don't have that, you don't need it. You can just hold your camera right next to the light stand like I did and you'll still get the same lighting effect. Butterfly lighting is a really common setup for beauty and fashion photos. The tricky part is getting it in the sweet spot between too far away from your subject and too right over top of your subject. But once you can get it in the sweet spot, the lighting is going to accentuate the cheekbones here a little bit and it's overall a very flattering look. Now if it's too dramatic, you can get your subject to hold a reflector right below them and bounce some of the light back up to light up under the chin a little bit and under the eyes. Lighting setup number two is called short lighting. This is a really popular one used in movies. It's essentially when you're lighting up the side of the face that's away from the camera. So you want your model on a 45 degree angle from you and the light is gonna be almost behind them. You're looking to position the light to create a divide perfectly down the side of their face so when they're looking off this way, the light is hitting over here and this side of the face is dark. This is a super dramatic lighting setup and I think this one looks really cool. It can be used to make your shots look a lot more cinematic. And it's super easy. For this one, you just want the light to be a little bit above eye level, behind the subject, facing towards them, and that's about it. Our next lighting setup is probably the most famous one on this list, Rembrandt lighting, named after the painter Rembrandt who always painted his portraits with this lighting style. You can spot Rembrandt lighting by the little triangle of light that appears on the cheek. Again, this can be a very dramatic, cinematic kind of lighting setup. And to do it, we're gonna have the light placed above eye level, tilted down, not quite as high as the butterfly lighting, but also not right at eye level. So it's going to be above your subject a little bit and then off about 45 degrees from their face. So half of their face will be almost completely lit, the other half of the face will be almost completely dark, except for the little triangle of light that will be created by your nose's shadow. Now, just because this one is usually a serious dramatic lighting doesn't mean you have to. I had Alex do some smiling photos for this lighting setup and they turned out really good. To get this right, just play around with moving the light side to side a little bit and up and down a little bit until you get the look you want. You can also do the same thing we did with the butterfly lighting and put a reflector on the opposite side of the face at the lightest place. And this will just help lighten up some of those shadows and make it a little bit less dramatic. Lighting setup number four is called broad lighting. This is the opposite of short lighting. We're going to have the light positioned similarly. It's going to be around eye level and we want to be split lighting up half of the face, except instead of lighting the side of the face that's away from the camera, this time we're going to be lighting up the side of the face that's facing towards the camera. This one's a lot less dramatic and a lot less cinematic, but it's a good way of just kind of lighting up everything. To do this, you're going to have the light at around eye level, a little bit above, and you're going to have the light off to the side from where you're positioned with your camera, facing the subject on a 45 degree angle, hitting the broad side or the side that's showing the most. This one's pretty simple and probably the least dramatic on the list. Going from least dramatic to most dramatic, number five is our silhouette lighting. Also called backlighting, this is when there is almost no light hitting our subject. All the light is coming from behind the subject, creating a silhouette look. This one is super dramatic and works best if your subject is standing 90 degrees to the side, so you get that sort of profile of their face, because if they're just straight on, you don't really get any detail. To do this one, you're gonna have the light position behind your subject, pointing at them. The more directly behind the subject the light is, the less you'll see of the subject. If you wanna play around with it, you can rotate the light out a little bit from behind the subject, 
which is going to start to light up the side of the face, almost like short lighting. And this will give you just a little bit more detail in their face so it's not completely pitch black. And that is five lighting setups with one single light. You can use these setups as a foundation to build more complex lighting setups and include more lights. In places where I mentioned you could add a reflector, you could change that out with a different light and mess around with how that looks. There's so many directions you can go from here, but starting with one light is honestly the best way to learn. If you wanna check out the exact light and softbox I used for this video, you can check that out in the description. Links to my other socials are down there too. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. I think I covered everything. I will see you in the next one.